Shazam! Hey everybody, welcome back to Andrew Upton here for another episode of Attack on Titan. We're up to episode 49, Night of the Battle to Retake the Wall. We're finally making progress on taking back, well, Mario. <laughs> finally, after all this time, after falling back in episode 1, we're going to finally see them try to take it back. Let's see if they're actually going to be successful or not. I'm assuming, this, given the title, it's a, probably more of a build-up episode to it, establish the preamble maybe. But let's see if I'm right or wrong on that, and let's let the episode seek for itself. Were you able to establish what's in the container? We have a vague idea, but unfortunately, with our technology, I'm afraid we can't dig much deeper. Like we've heard from Aaron and Historia, it seems to originate from some sort of human body fluid. However, it vaporizes when exposed to air, making further analysis virtually impossible to perform. Whoever made it must have had technology far superior to ours. I can't imagine how the Rice family could have managed to do it. Hmm. In that case, rather than tamper with it, we should put it to use for our current objective. But to whom do we entrust it? To you, Evan? No. With my wound, I would be a poor choice. This syringe. It belongs in the hands of one of our elite, someone with the best odds of survival. Levi, will you accept it? <laughs> if okay. it's in order, just say so. Why even bother asking? <laughs> when we need to use this, there may not be time to plan. We'll be relying on you to make a decision swiftly and with little deliberation. No. Do what you need to. Use me as bait. The chain of command still remains. If I'm gone, then Hanji. If Hanji's gone, the next. It's true this operation will be extremely dangerous, but it will also be the most important one in human history. That's why I've gone to such lengths. This is my plan, Levi. Without me leading you, you're less likely to succeed. That's true. Without you, the operation might fail. But if you bite the dust out there, we're really screwed. So just stay safe at your desk and keep using that head of yours. As far as I'm concerned, that's the last thing the Titans would want. And the best weapon that humanity's got. No, you're wrong. Our best option is for me to gamble it all on the plan that I came okay, up with. Okay, that's enough. Stop right there. Any more of those noble-ass excuses, and I'm gonna break both your damn legs. <laughs> Not too badly. They'll heal just fine. But you'll be way too busted up to even think about joining us on the operation. And it'll be a bitch to get to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like that idea much. Normally I'd agree with you. A wounded soldier should stay off the battlefield. However, that may be the day we learn the truth about our world. And I'll be damned if I'm going to miss it. It's hard to believe that it's only been four months. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. But think, that's all it took for us to make Levi Squad. How's that for climbing the ranks? <laughs> it's all because you're a genius. Damn straight I am. Come on, let's eat before it gets cold. <laughs> Don't you get it? You've got no experience. That's why you're in the rear guard, rookie. I may be less knowledgeable than the rest of you, but isn't the vanguard the best place to learn how the enemy moves? What's this? You think that you can lecture a veteran about self-sacrifice? <laughs> isn't that what makes us effective? Being willing to put ourselves in harm's way? Listen, everyone starts out as a recruit, okay? If we throw recruits into battle like cannon fodder, then they'll all be too dead to learn. And that's why for now it's your job to watch and learn from the rear, so you can make it back in one piece. The ones who really suck are the suicidal maniacs who think the only way to fight is to charge in blind. Right? <laughs> somebody, you are buddy. you talking about somebody in particular? Yeah. Oh, he's looking directly at you. Yeah, I'm looking right at him. 
suicidal maniac. You see, the funny thing is that I recently discovered that I'm actually a pretty normal person. So hey, if that's how you really see me, then maybe you're just a coward, John. Right? You think you're so cool, don't you, you piece of shit? That's a pretty shaggy looking man you're growing there, horse face! What's the th God, it's season one all over again, these two. Er, you get out of my shirt! What the hell are those two doing? <laughs> Damn! You bastard! Show him what you got! He's losing ground! It looks like we've got a fight. I said the last time they did this, except that now they don't have the blonde one there to fucking break them up. But seriously, huh? if you didn't have Titan. I know, right? We haven't seen her as since the end of season one. Although I guess Mikasa would have swooped in every time to save your worthless. Uh, you're so eager to die? Fine, man, I'll kill you! Yeah, okay. Give me your best uh, shot! You ought to start showing your mom some more respect, Sean boy! Would you forget that, Stepper? Should we let them keep the going? Horse fight! I think it's fine. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to kill each other, so it's fine. Why? Why isn't anybody stopping us? <laughs> How long's this gonna go on? Shit, I think I'm gonna barf up that meat. Hey. <laughs> That's enough celebrating. Go to bed. And clean oh, up. Oh, he did barf. Who's gonna tie poor potato girl? <sighs> I can't yes, believe Yes, I know her name is Sasha. This, I'm calling her potato girl anyway. you guys watch out? All right, then. Let's start by finding the sea. I can tell you still don't think it's real, Aaron. You'll see. It does exist. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess we'll have to check it out, then. That's not good enough. You have to promise. Oh, great. This is Here our chance again. to explore the outside world. It's got to be way bigger than inside the walls. <laughs> okay, I promise. Just before sunset, it's finally time. Mankind is up to you! Captain Levi! Good luck out there! Thanks for saving our city! You guys come back in one piece, all right? Yeah! But get us back our land, too! <laughs> Someone's got a big mouth. Yeah, well, that celebration did get a little rowdy. <laughs> Actually, we ordered all of that meat from the Reeves Company, so... Flagel. Yeah! You can count on us! I wonder how long it's been since the scouts got a send-off like this. I don't know. Oh, these two fuckos. Interesting. Right. They're just watching. They're back. 